Hey guys, it's Tara. Um, I wanted to just share some um, fabric flowers and lace flowers um, in a canvas bag that I have um, recently altered. Um, so I'll start with the, the bag. This is one of the canvas bags um, that I got at Hobby Lobby for $1.99. I showed um, it in my haul video. Um, from the weekend and this is kind of what I did. I know it's kind of hard to see. I hope you can see um, I left the um, the back plain Because um, I was thinking just if you're wearing it and rubbing it up against you um, I didn't want anything to come off or you know get um, damaged or anything like that um, But I layered in the background um, a few different types of laces. I hope you can see um, and then I have um, this other lace here and then um, I put down some fabric strip there and then there is some lace over that and then I just kind of layered all different laces on there and then I did this crochet piece of lace <clears throat> and then I made this um, big shabby chic flower I love these flowers um I used um Trisha a little shabby chic is that what her YouTube name is um, it's tutorial on this um, I'll put the link in the box um, and then I just put a little doily piece there and then a um, a button actually a pearl button and then the same fabric that I used here I created some rolled roses I put some doily pieces behind those and then I put that little rolled rose right there and then I just used some seam binding just to add some little dangles so that's what I did for the canvas bag I hope you guys can see that I know the lighting isn't very well um, but that's my canvas bag and then um, I think I told you that my mother-in-law um, one of her friends owns a boutique in um, Atlanta called Matter Boutique and um, I make these corsages and they're really just um, shabby chic flowers or any type of flowers um, with pins on the back um, and he's gonna start selling them for me in his boutique so um, I've been making a lot of them so I wanted to just share with you guys um, this is actually the same technique as that one right there just a smaller version um, and what you actually do with um, to create this flower is um, I don't have any squares but I cut my fabric into um, about I would say a two inch square and then and like I said this is Trisha's t uh, tutorial but I cut my fabric into um, about a two inch square and I hold it in my fingers like this and dab a little bit of hot glue and then you pull it and you twist just like that to where it comes out like this this fabric right here is really um, fraying but um and so what you do is you just get your little your little circle and you glue these all the way around and what I do is I do about eight on the first layer and then you're gonna have a little hole in the middle and I do about another four or five in the middle and that's what creates this and I think these are really really pretty so that's one of them this is another um, flower this is the loop flower I'm sure you guys um, have seen this um, what you do is you um, <clears throat> cut your fabric into about a two inch strip about however long you want it maybe 12 inches um, and then you glue it in half and you cut little loops and then you circle it around your paper if you want a tutorial for any of these flowers just let me know and I'll do a special video um, Sorry, I didn't realize I was cutting myself off. Um, but and so I layered some um, flowers in the back, and the flowers that I use are they look like this, um, and it's the Tim Holtz alteration dye, the the flowers, um, the tattered flowers. So that's another one, and then this one here. I just used all different types of fabric, and then this one here um, is made with flowers like this and then what I do is I put these together like this two on top of another 
folded in half, okay? Put a little glue right here, and then you fold it in half again. And then you have a petal, okay? And then what I do is I do four of these. So I get my circle, and I just punch these out with my little, um, my little punch. Um, and if you don't have, I mean, sometimes I use cardstock, sometimes I use um, felt, it doesn't matter. But, um, and then you glue four of those on there. Um, and then for this particular one, I just did the four. And then I, um, but sometimes you could do four and then you can make um, and put four more on top to make it full. And I'll show you one that is like that. Um, but for this one, I just did the one, the one layer, and then I did a layer of lace, and then I put a little doily and then a little button. And see how they have the pins on the back? These I just I just buy these at at Michaels. They're like $3.99. So that's another one. This one is black and it's got this like handkerchief type of fabric. I bought these fabrics at um and it's some, some that I had in my stash, but um, most of them came in um, a bag at Tuesday morning. It was like, you know, squares of all different fabrics. So there's another one. And I just did the fabric and then the lace, the little bigger style on that one. Um, and then this one I really love. This is the same square. Oh, can you see it? This is the same square technique with the squares. And then you twist it. Um, I did two layers on this one and then I put a little doily and then this is actually a foam flower and then I just added some regular, excuse me, regular um, cotton fabric flower um, petals on the back just to cover it up and then I added my pin. That one's one of my favorites, that one and this one as well too. This is the same, this is the, with the square technique, it's a little smaller. Um, and then I did a doily and then just a paper flower in there. And then I just added some layers of um, uh, circles of the uh, drop cloth and then added my pen as well. And these you don't have to add pins. I mean, you can use them for anything. And then I have this one. This one is a double layer of the flower petals. And you can see how thick it is. It's nice and dimensional. And then I just added a doily and then a button there. And then this one is the same thing. This one is um, the flower, the flowers folded in quarters. And then a doily and then another one of these foam flowers. I love these foam flowers, they're really cute. Okay, and then this one here, what I did was Sorry, this one's kind of light. Um, but what I did was I layered some um, flower flower petals, the Tim Holtz flowers, and then I did one layer of the square around, and then I made a rolled rose and stuck that in the middle with the same fabric. If you could see that. Okay, this is this is another one that's like that, the same exact thing. Just layered some flowers, did one layer of the square petals, and then the rolled rose. Okay, and then this one is some flower layers, and then um, one layer of the folded flower, and then a doily, and then I just put a little metal embellishment in there. And you could see they're, they're very dimensional, and they're really cute, like on a denim jacket and stuff. I love them. And then this one is the looped flower and I just layered some flower petals and then it's the looped flower. Um, this is with um, some shabbier um, material which it actually works better. Hey babe, I'm just videoing. And you actually fray it and I love the fray look. And then I just added a doily and then um, just a resin uh, piece in the middle. And then this one, sorry, I have some tags on them already. This is actually just all lace. And then I layered a few cotton um, flowers just to give it some dimension and just did a button and then a pearl center. And I just added a little um, seam binding to this one. 
And I think that's it, guys. I think that's all of them. So I just wanted to share these with you. Um, again, I think these are my favorites. But if you want a tutorial on any of these, please let me know and I will do a separate video. Um, so just let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and I'll have a few more videos to come. Okay? Bye, guys. Have a great day.